we are in 21st century. 21st century learning means that the students must use content while producing, synthesizing, and evaluating information from a wide variety of subjects and sources, with an understanding of, of and respect for diverse cultures. Students demonstrate the three RS, but also three CS, which is creativity, communication, and collaboration. Virtual tools and open source software create borderless learning, territories for students of all ages anytime and anywhere. As a student, there are still times that we don't understand what our teachers are teaching. They talk and talk, but we cannot get or know what are they talking about. That's why using technology can be understood better by watching videos on YouTube, using mobile phones and computers. And also we can watch different videos that are connected to the lesson taught by our teachers. And we can also watch the things that we should learn from videos and improve the skills that we have. The films, video, and TV are powerful instruction tools when they are used appropriately and moderately. They can make the teaching learning process more concrete, more lively, colorful, and interactive. For example, facilitates thinking and problem solving, helps develop learning autonomy, delivers authentic learning opportunities, and foster learning. The films, video, and TV are powerful instructional tools. That's why I said earlier, when they are used appropriately and moderately, they can make the teaching learning more concrete, or process more concrete, lively, colorful, and interactive. It contributes to a more lasting learning fan. However, misuse and abuse of these tools in the classroom and even at home has reaching damaging effects in the development of children's imaginative and thinking powers, sensitivity to human life. The most significant cited weakness of television is the violence on people's aggressive behavior.